Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Political Brown Kid here. Hope you're having a good day today. Hope you're having a good day today. Today is the March 1st, and I don't, man, again, I don't know when I'm going to post this stuff. I'm making videos like crazy and haven't posted anything or making vlogs. You know, um, I keep calling them videos, but really, I'm just making audio content. And just to get it on YouTube and other platforms, I have to put it in video form. So let me just try to add a little bit of specificity to that, but... I'm seeing the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, again, today is March 1st, 2021, and I just had to get this video out. Yesterday, me and my wife, me and the wifey, we went out. Yeah, I do have one friend. See, my wife, I know y'all have pity for her. She's hanging out with me, but and she's so tied to me, so I know y'all really feel bad for her. I know y'all like, well, what the, how does this woman look to be hanging out with this dude? He has zero friends in life, but I have one, the wifey. But again, we hanging out. We went to pick up some food yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday, February 28th, the last day of the shortest month. We moving through the new year, by the way. So we're in this store. We're in this store. I'm not going to mention what place it was, restaurant that we were picking up food from, fast casual type place. And I look over, me and my wife just happened while we're standing in the queue in the line to get the food. I just happened to look over because they have a TV in there. And guess who's talking on the television? Guess who's talking on the television? Jesus Christ himself, who has come back to earth in the form of none other than, guess who? Bill Gates, who thinks he knows every damn thing. This is the problem that I'm having in life. I, I'm really, I almost lost my mind in that place. Me and my wife, my wife, to tell you how bad it is, to tell you how bad it is, and this is how I know I'm correct, because my wife is very contrary to me. She disagrees with everything I say. That's why I'm trying to figure out why she's still hanging out with me. But I know it's bad when me and my wife both are on the same page. We, you know, we're both looking. She rolls her eyes in disgust. I'm sitting up there like, looking around like, does anybody see this shit? Is anybody seeing this shit? Bill Gates is on Fareed, I think it was um, Fareed Zakari. I don't even know how to say the dude's name, um, but I know it's Fareed. He's on CNN. Um, but he's on Fareed's show, and Fareed, must, all of his guests must have canceled. I think Dr. Fauci must have canceled on Fareed yesterday because he had Bill Gates on there talking about, he wasn't talking about, Computer chips. He wasn't talking about Windows. Wasn't talking about DOS. The DOS command prompt. He wasn't talking about microchip. He wasn't talking about any of that. This dude is up here talking about the coronavirus and what needs to be done in order to get us out of the coronavirus. <laughs> I don't make this stuff up. Some of you guys are probably out there because you guys are a little bit intellectually less gifted than myself. Um, no disrespect, but just I'm, I'm putting that into sophisticated terms to try not to offend anyone. But if you are less intellectually gifted, that just went over your head right there. You did not catch what I said. So let me say it again. Bill Gates is on television. And he's been doing this for years, though, by the way. Um, him and Jay-Z. Bill Gates is on TV running his mouth about coronavirus. What needs to be done, what the failures have been, and what the future outlook of coronavirus is. And then he went on to start talking about the economy. And I'm, I'm like, damn, did Bill Gates get a degree? Did Jim Cramer personally lecture this dude and give him a PhD in economics? Did, did, he, did this dude go do something that I'm not aware of? The problem, I mean, I'm being serious. Let me, let me back this up. I mean, I'm just saying, Dr. Fountain, not even Dr. Burks could have came on this show to talk. Really? The problem that I'm having is this. I'm having a problem with, and this goes for Oprah Winfrey. Y'all should know how I feel about Oprah Winfrey, but we'll get to that. I haven't even made a video talking about her yet. But that's just a little spoiler alert. So by my tone, y'all can tell what my stance is on her. But it's not just Oprah. It's a lot of these billionaires. People get a billion dollars, Elon Musk. 
you another one. They get a billion dollars and they think they know everything. They think that a billion dollars in success, economic success, qualifies them to talk about everything. Jay-Z, he's one of them. He, uh, he has made his money. He's made the bulk of his money. You think about this. He's made the bulk of his money and the money that allowed him to propel himself into other ventures. He made the bulk of that money basically tearing down black communities, distributing a deadly, a highly addictive narcotic throughout his own community. And not only that, he bragged about it in his rhymes. I mean, okay, we all know people who sold drugs. We all know people who were involved in street pharmaceuticals. I damn sure grew up around a lot of them. Cousins did it. So, okay. But the thing is, is that you've made your living in all of your rhymes bragging. Because that's what helped you sell records because you was a street dude. And you bragged. And you played off your street element. You didn't take the Trap Call Quest route. You didn't take the Public Enemy route. You didn't take the De La Soul route. You didn't take the Heavy D route. You didn't take the Father MC route. You didn't take the Kwame route. You didn't take any of those routes. You didn't take the Paris. Everybody forgets about Paris. Big up the Paris out there, wherever you at. You didn't take any of those routes rapping. You made your living bragging about selling cocaine. And how much coke you could pile up and go interstate with. And that's how you made your money. And now that you got a billion dollars, now you on MSNBC. I got to look at you when I'm trying to get my stock news. I got to look at you talking about economic development on platforms. I got to hear about you calling the mayor up of Minnesota to talk about what's going on when George Floyd got his next step on. And I'm like, who takes these phone calls? Just because you're a billionaire, you guys let anybody speak for us? And now I got to look at Bill Gates, ignorant ass. He's been running around all over television what, for the past 20 or 10 years, setting up education funds, trying to tell people how to educate their kids. When did you, I'm I'm just curious, like, when did you actually step foot into a classroom and teach somebody? And when were you on the front lines? I want to hear from a teacher. A teacher knows any fool can sit up here and start giving suppositions on how someone should do something. But unless you're in the trenches, in the front line and see things, how they operate in reality, because everything works as a proof of concept when it's dreamt up in your mind. But once you're actually out there doing something, then let's see what happens. It's just like what Mike Tyson says. Everybody, you know, has a plan until you get hit in the damn face. When have you got hit in your face, Bill Gates, by a student, by a little five-year-old who has to deal with other issues in addition to coming to school learning? Or when you're trying to teach 30 kids at one time, I want to hear from a teacher. I don't want to hear from you or your wife who think just because y'all have money, y'all can go around lecturing people on how to do education. Nobody wants to hear from you. Sit your rich ass down. Seriously. Now you're on TV talking about COVID-19 and where the CDC messed up at. All you did was pick up the Washington Post and listen to a bunch of news broadcasts, listen to Dr. Fauci, and then you regurgitating stuff. What were you sitting in on briefings when Donald, when President, um, when Donald Trump was president, or now that Biden's president? Were you, were you in these briefings, and that's how you know? Give me a break, man. Let me stop this. Let's stop this. Just because you out here buying up all the farmland. I don't know what you plan on doing with that. Y'all better start worrying about why these rich sons of bitches are out here buying up farmland and they're buying up water supplies. Check, see if I'm lying to you. They're buying up farmland, Bill Gates. He's the biggest farm holder in America. And a lot of these tech companies are buying up water supplies. Check my facts. Go look it up. Because there's going to be a food, I'm telling you, there's going to be a food shortage and a water shortage. You better have a food source and a water source. 
But I'm not going to ramble on anymore. I'm going to try to keep this video to at least this. I'm a little over 10 minute mark now. That's all I want to say. Bill Gates, go sit down. If you unless you want to talk about Windows, shut the hell up. Oprah Winfrey, same thing to you, too. I don't want to hear nothing out your mouth except how to sell something to white women. That's all I want to hear you talk about. How to sell something to a white woman, because that was your audience, a white woman. Jay-Z, the only thing I want to hear from you is a rhyme. Make me a jingle, a 30-second jingle. That is it. Or some cocaine. That's it. That's the only thing I want to hear from you. Lil Wayne, the only thing I want to hear from you is how to be a coon and love white women. That's the only thing I want to hear from you. Elon Musk, you too. Make me a car. A cheap one that falls apart. Doors can't slam on it. Doors can barely shut on it. Or, or the bumper falls off when I hit a, when I hit a bump in the road going 45 miles per hour. Then I want to hear from you, Elon Musk. But until then, I don't want to hear y'all talking about anything else in the world like y'all are experts. And Fareed Zakari, you ought to be ashamed of yourself for putting these people on your platform like they know something. You should put a big disclaimer before these fools walk onto your show. You should say, disclaimer, I have a fool coming on my show. This fool is not qualified to talk about what they're going to talk about, but we're going to talk to them anyway because they're an interesting person. They're an interesting person. That should be your disclaimer, and then you should let them talk. They do it on MSNBC all the time. They say the views expressed on this show are particular views from economists and you should not take the advice as, um, you know, to, to start trading in stocks. That's what they They give these disclaimers. You need to say the same damn thing. We're about to have a fool to come on this show and he's going to run his mouth on several topics. And the fool's name is Bill Gates. If if he t if he says something about um, Windows or DOS, Please take that advice as being golden. But if he talks about anything else, don't even pay attention to him. That's what your disclaimer should be. Again, I'm going to end this post right now. This is the political brown kid. I'm signing out. I'm out of here.